So we said that the one who has Ritochon and Hashem, he will be saved from the scattering of the soul. He will not be worried about all his properties. Rather, he will have peace of mind. And on top of that, he said that also that a person he will have enough income to sustain him. And he will not be preoccupied about managing his money and constantly worrying about his, his wealth. Like King Solomon said, Sweet is the sleep of the laborer. Whether he eats a little bit or he eats a lot, and the rich man's satiety, the rich man's fullness does not let him sleep. Meaning, the poor man who works day by day, whether he makes a little bit, maybe he makes a lot, he sleeps good at night. He says, I worked hard, I earned what I earned, and I'm happy. But the person who's wealthy, he cannot sleep because he has so much, he's so full, he's so worried about all his property, he's so worried what's going to be, what should I do with my money. He's very, very nervous because... You would think that the wealth he has gives him, uh, you know, peace of mind, and it's not always true. Only the wealth with the bitachon, only the wealth with the munan Hashem gives the peace of mind. So it comes out, it's not even the wealth. It comes out, it's really the bitachon that gives you the peace of mind. There's a, they bring a story over here from the Briskarav, Rabbi Tzachzev Zolovitchik, Allah Shalom, that when he got married, his family, his, his in-laws gave him a wonderful dowry. Dowry is uh, money to start off your life with. And he invested it in an apartment complex. He bought the whole apartment complex. He thought he was going to re- do real estate. He's going to sit and learn and he's going to collect rent. He's going to have peace of mind. Then the first world war broke out and everything went to, 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 to nothing. And he lost his apartment building. He was not in it. It was, he had to run away from the war and uh, he got occupied by the enemy. So he lost his investment. So it ended up being he had no money now. So what did he do? He grabbed the Shara Bitachon and he started learning Shara Bitachon properly. And he learned it very well. And he said a line like this. He said, I thought I was wealthy because of my real estate. And then what? And then I lost it. But now I see I'm wealthy because of my Shara Bitachon. Meaning, the peace of mind that I had from the real estate, and I thought, oh, it's okay, I have real estate, I have a way to make money, I have peace of mind. I realized that I lost that, but now I got it again. How? The same peace of mind I got from my Shara Bitachon, from learning about having Bitachon and Hashem. So people, they have money, they're still nervous. So what does it mean to be wealthy? That's why Pirkei Avot says, It's not in, it's not a physical thing to be wealthy. It's a mental. It's a in, in the neshama to be wealthy. A person who's wealthy, he's not nervous. Why is he not nervous? It doesn't have to be from money. You're not nervous. It has to be. It has to be from bitachon. Bitachon can make you feel wealthy. So therefore, what does it mean to be really wealthy? It means that bitachon and Hashem. And then he says the fifth spiritual benefit of trusting in Hashem. He says, Someone who has bitachon and Hashem, even if he has a lot of money, the money is not going to block him from serving Hashem and from trusting in Hashem. He will view the money he has like a deposit. This man katsuv could be that Hashem will take it away. He's not trusting in his money. He's going to be wealthy forever. And even if he has the money for a long time, he doesn't take it for granted and he doesn't kick against Hashem. He doesn't rebel against Hashem. He realizes he always needs Hashem. And therefore, and if he gives charity, he's not going to hold it against people and say, oh, I gave you because of me. That's why you have, eh? you have to give me kavot. He's not going to think like this because he realized that Hashem is the one who gave it to him. Right? And then furthermore, and even if he loses the money, he won't be nervous. He won't mourn his loss. What is he going to say? He's going to tell himself, He says, Hashem took back his deposit. Bogdal, Bogzal. So therefore, a person will be, He'll be happy with whatever his lot is. He's not going to blame people. He's not going to fight with people. He's, going to, he's not going to say, You you did this to me. I'm going to show you. I have to go take revenge. He's going to realize that Gavash Baruch Hu is the one who take it, took it away. And therefore, Gavash Baruch Hu is the one who gave it to him. A lot of times when people are wealthy, you have this test. Maybe, oh, I don't need to pray anymore. I don't need a mitzvot anymore. I have my money. Well, I give it to the cop, so that's more than enough. No, a person has to realize that Gavash Baruch Hu gave this to you because of certain zuchud you have. And if you don't have the zuchud anymore, could be Hashem will take it away. So therefore, a person to constantly be close to Hashem and do more mitzvot and not get carried away and get gava. He's not going to become bodigi because of his money. He's not going to start telling people in the street, hey, listen to me and think everybody has to listen to him like he's a big boss. 
Rather, he's going to realize, Akadosh Baruch Hu gave me everything I have. I have to be humble. And one day, it could be, I won't have this. Therefore, we don't know what's going to be tomorrow. So therefore, he's always going to have Bitachon and Hashem. And even if he does lose, he's going to say, okay, it's not this person who stole from me in business. It's not this person that took my competi- that was competition took away my business. It's going to be Hashem. Hashem decreed that I should have. Hashem decreed that I lost. So therefore, the, the Bitachon will be able to enable you to have, to handle the waves. You know, go up and down, the world is like galgal, it's like a circle. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down, and what's going to help you when you're down? The guy who trusts in his wealth, and then he loses his money, what is he going to do? He goes nuts, he says, what am I going to do? I'm so used to living with money, and now I'm not having money. He's so nervous, he feels like he's dead. That's a poor man feels like he's dead, the Gemara says. A poor man feels like an, is, is like a dead person, like a met. So therefore, a person has to know that what's going to give you back to life, what's going to bring you to happiness and the true wealth is Bitahon. And that's what they say, that when they left Yamsuf, the true wealth was the Munana